Hello everyone. Ancient Egypt is one of the most interesting and exciting civilizations in all of human history, with incredibly huge pyramids, incredible sarcophagi, mysterious and unexplained hieroglyphs. Today, there are many remains of ancient Egypt, but there is still much we don't know about this culture. Researchers have uncovered ancient ruins, allowing us to learn a lot about the reigns and dynasties of the pharaohs. Thanks to these discoveries, we now have a very detailed understanding of what ancient Egypt looked like many years ago. But even though we have found countless documents and relics from Egypt in the past, historians and researchers continue to uncover more secrets about ancient Egypt than we can imagine. In today's video we'll talk about some of the incredible findings that have stunned researchers. Let's get started. The secret room in the Pyramid of Giza, the Pyramid of Giza, is known worldwide as the largest pyramid ever found. The pyramid has remained intact on Earth for more than 4,500 years, but it still holds many mysteries that scientists have yet to uncover. According to research on Egyptian history, the pyramid was built in memory of the pharaoh Cheopson. But as time passed and Egypt's climate changed, so did the Pyramid of Giza. The pyramid lost about 8 meters from its original height, largely due to storms and natural deterioration that ravaged the area throughout the year. So researchers thought they had learned everything about the Great Pyramid after spending many years studying the monument. But in 2017, they discovered something that shook them to the core. There was one big detail that had somehow been overlooked after all these years. And what was it? Well, researchers learned that inside the pyramid was a large previously unknown chamber. This room is estimated to be made of about 3 million stone blocks, each weighing several ton. What's more, the chamber is reportedly located just above the pyramid and is about 30 meters deep. On the other hand, the researchers say that they have only recently uncovered this secret chamber because they used much more modern technology than was used decades ago when the pyramid was first discovered. They used subatomic particles to map the interior of the pyramid while documenting the inside of this secret chamber. News about this newly discovered room spread quickly, but researchers have no idea what the room could have been used for. Even experts who have spent decades exploring the pyramid and its surroundings do not know why such a large and seemingly unusable room was built in the center of the structure. Perhaps more details will come to light over the years, but for now, this mysterious room inside the Pyramid of Giza remains an unsolved mystery. Most of us can agree that Egyptian archaeological finds are truly remarkable. But some of the most important and interesting findings relate to sarcophagi in ancient Egyptian ruins. These sarcophagi give us a closer look into the country's ancient culture, showing us how important the burial rituals and the afterlife were to the ancient Egyptian. A few years ago, an ancient coffin was unearthed in Egypt and researchers believed it would shed more light on some of the funeral rites that were popular at the time. But some people also thought it might contain the long-lost body of Alexander the Great. But as the coffin was being lifted, they realized that nothing was as it seemed. So much so that as soon as they looked inside the coffin, they found something chillingly unlike anything they had expected. Instead of Alexander the Great's bones, Inside the coffin were the remains of three men crammed into a small compartment. On top of that, the coffin was apparently not sealed properly, or the seal had faded after thousands of years. This was evidenced by the fact that the coffin was filled with an unexplained mysterious liquid. Some researchers think that this red liquid may have been deliberately placed inside the coffin, but no one knows for sure. On the other hand, the liquid was said to smell incredibly foul. But some locals wanted to take samples of the liquid for their own strange purposes. Of course, the researchers didn't allow this, and soon found out that the liquid was not intentionally placed inside the coffin. The liquid actually came from sewage that had seeped into the coffin over many years. It was also never determined who was buried in the coffin. However, one of the bodies was found with a skull wound that looked like an arrow mark, suggesting that the bones may have belonged to a warrior. Discovering structures like the Great Pyramid of Giza is actually quite easy. After all, this structure is 138 meters high. On the other hand, although there are difficult areas inside the pyramid that are inaccessible to humans, with the development of technology, we can discover forgotten rooms inside the Great Pyramid. However, cities like Kandiyav and Canopus have proven to be much, much more difficult to discover. 
These cities were once the most important places in Egypt, but as time passed, they began to crumble and were eventually swallowed by the sea. Still, there are a few incredibly well-preserved artifacts that have been recovered from these places, and they tell us what life was like many years ago. For example, a team of highly experienced diverse was able to document the remains of an incredible temple deep beneath the surface. Inside this temple, several ceramic artifacts were found, as well as several batches of bronze coins. These coins were probably very valuable in ancient Egyptian times, but even more valuable than that was the information that archaeologists soon uncovered. What they learned was that the city was much larger than they had first thought. As the research continued, more artifacts were unearthed, proving that both cities were several times larger than they appeared. Dozens of valuable coins were also discovered here, in surprisingly good condition for their age. We know that the ancient Egyptians did not have the tools to write history as we do today. Therefore, much of the information about their culture and daily life has been lost in time. But it seems that the Egyptians wanted to do everything they could to ensure that their history would live on for as long as possible. For this, they developed a complex writing system that used images of some common objects, including birds and other animals. Today, this writing style is called hieroglyphics. In fact, we have come a long way in deciphering the hieroglyphs and have uncovered many of the stories that the descriptions convey. Yet one of the most interesting stories about the hieroglyphs may be the description of an ancient light bulb, which to date remains largely unresolved. The problem with this is that there is no plausible way for the Egyptians to have invented a primitive version of the modern light bulb. But it seems that the paintings and carvings we have access to show a depiction of a modern light bulb in perfect detail. This has led to some theories that aliens visited the ancient Egyptians and gave them modern technological tools. These theories have been further strengthened by other drawings and historical documents that speak of gods and goddesses who may have once mingled with humanity. As far as we can tell, there is no conclusive proof of these theories and most of the stories are hearsay. However, we still cannot be so sure. This is because, according to the researchers, there is no sign of soot on the walls or ceiling of the temple where these carvings were found. And this means that there is little or no use of torches in the space. So, how did visitors see the room surrounding them if they did not have access to an alternative form of light, an ample? For now, we don't know the answer to that, and we don't know exactly what the drawings mean. After all, the drawings may have depicted an everyday object that was very common in ancient Egyptian time, and this historical object may have been lost for a long time. Or perhaps it could be something else that just looks like a light bulb. We hope to learn more about these drawings as time goes on. But for now, we cannot say for sure whether the ancient Egyptians had access to an ancient version of the modern light bulb. Moreover, in recent years, researchers have learned that the pyramids can harness the power of electromagnetic energy, making this discovery even more interesting. Allegedly, the shape of the pyramids could harness certain forces of nature and allow the ancient Egyptians to access certain powers. In fact, this theory has spread so much that some Russian researchers have started to reconstruct models of the pyramid. And in their research, they discovered that the shape of the pyramids could indeed reflect electromagnetic wave. So, potentially, the Egyptians could have harnessed this energy. Whether this energy could have been used to power ancient light bulbs is a completely different story. But even the thought of it is interesting. Egypt's Atlantis off the coast of Alexandria in Egypt, researchers have discovered a kind of Egyptian Atlantis. The sunken world of Quandie, which sank into the sea some 1500 years ago. It was once a prosperous port city and one of the most important ports in the entire Mediterranean. Today, it is an underwater ruin. The city was first discovered in 2001 by a team of archaeologists led by expert Frank Gordian. Frank was looking for Napoleon's warships, lost in the Battle of the Nile in 1798. But instead, he found broken columns, cracked statues, sunken obelisks, and dozens of other structures and pieces of architecture. Frank was indeed confronted with an underwater city. On the other hand, researchers have been able to piece together much of Kwandi's history in the last 20 years. It has also helped that excavations have never stopped. Not long ago, for example, Frank was busy unearthing yet another hoard of treasures. This time it was statues of Egyptian gods. Archaeologists recovered a huge statue of the Egyptian goddess Isis 
and a statue of the god Hopi four, eight meters tall and perfectly preserved because it was stuck in the mud. Smaller statues of other gods were also found in the area. Researchers believe that the temple was used by Cleopatra when she was the queen of nine. Some even believe that Cleopatra's tomb may be hidden somewhere beneath the wave. But there is still much to discover here. The door in King Tut's tomb there is a strange door in King Tut's tomb that is believed to lead to a completely unexplored burial chamber. In fact, archaeologists believe that the room behind the door may contain the mummy of Queen Nefertiti. According to many different sources, including Egyptian state media and archaeologist Nicholas Reeves, there may indeed be burial chambers in the west and north walls of Tutankhamun's tomb. Reeves believes that the two doors in the tomb of Tutankhamun, the child pharaoh of the 18th dynasty who died around 1323 BCE, were plastered and then painted. According to this theory, the doors and the entire tomb were actually built for Nefertiti, not Tutankhamun. The beautiful Nefertiti was the wife of Akhenate, one of the notorious pharaohs. Tutankhamun is believed to have had a different mother, but the family history of pharaohs is extremely confusing. That's why tombs also leave behind mysteries that are difficult to solve. The problem is that archaeologists cannot easily break through the walls of one of the most important tombs in the world. So, it's not really possible. First discovered by Howard Carter in 1922, the site may have been looted at the time, but today, no one has the chance to interfere with the tomb. There is nothing archaeologists can do, at least not until there is evidence that the lines in the stone are actually the lines of the door, and that there is great lost treasure behind the door. What do you think might be on the other side of the walls of King Tut's tomb? Share your theories with us in the comments section.